The city's new water filtration plant is complete and in the final stages of testing. Soon water will begin flowing from the new Bridge Creek pipeline to the city's water customers. Take a look. I've worked in the water industry for 20 years. This membrane filtration facility is a huge benefit to the community. It is a, a very advanced system. Um, never before has the city been experienced a filtration facility. Uh, so we are filtering the water rather than treating the water unfiltered. This plant was necessary to comply with federal drinking water rules, uh, mainly to remove cryptosporidium from the water, but it does play a secondary factor by removing turbidity uh, such that it really makes it so we can run through a uh, fire, forest fire situation. The design of this facility and the pipeline uh, increased our efficiencies uh, like we've never seen before. Uh, we are 98% efficient and improving on that daily, which means for every 100 gallons of water that we take in, we are sending 98% of that or 98 gallons of that water to our customers. In addition to forest fires, this plant can also handle rain events, snow melt events, uh, and almost other, any other natural event that Mother Nature can throw at us. Uh, and remove any of the turbidity or other materials that would be in the water that could potentially pose a health risk to the community. This plant is, uh, for the most part, state-of-the-art. Uh, most of this plant can be run uh, through a laptop uh, remotely. We will have two crew members on site up here uh, to run the plant and at least until the comfort levels of the operators get to a point that they might even get down to one staff member up here running this facility. Although it looks complex, it really isn't. Water flows from Bridge Creek into the new pipeline, into the filtration facility through the green pumps behind me. It is then pre-strained through strainers down to 300 microns. It then enters the membranes, which is filtered down to one micron, then enters the distribution system. The majority of the operation of this plant uh, isn't necessarily dealing with the water running through the plant, it's more of the maintenance that's associated with the plant. Uh, and staying up on that maintenance is what will require staff time. The most benefit to the citizens of Bend from this facility is public health. Uh, we have to meet regulatory standards set forth by federal agencies, uh, and this plant does that. Uh, this plant can handle pretty much any turbidity event that is thrown at it. Uh, therefore, we no longer have to shut off our surface water supply. Uh, this plant will be removing uh, cryptosporidium, but in addition, it will be removing giardia and a number of other potential threats that could contaminate the water supply, uh, all of which could have historically posed a threat to the community, uh, which no longer will be a threat.